Welcome to another podcast of the Constitution Manchester United. I'm going to, I won't say dive deep in a few stuff, but I'm going to surface some stuff. Oh, I'm going to dive deep on it, but not in a lot of stuff. I just want this video to be less than at least 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to be going into some stuff relating to Sancho, in relation to Anthony, in relation to uh, Martinez Bama. Touch on a few stuff first, include Martinez, then I get into the big heavy stuff like Jaden Sancho and um, Anthony and his ex girlfriend allegations. I didn't want to do a video today. I wasn't expect. I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but um, see, bro, it's hard. This is why I ask some of you guys to actually, you know, at least watch some of the videos that I've uploaded or watch the videos I've put because sometimes when you do videos, man. I don't know I'm not the best in terms of, you know, content creating and putting out content, but seeing the views that I've gotten over the last, um, for a good while now, I'm getting like three or four views. I want you guys to view up the videos, man, because I know that I'm not out there. I'm not doing much videos and I'm not the best in terms of knowing what to do in terms of, um, you know, what to say in terms of titles, you know, um, tags and so forth. So if you're seeing these videos, support your brother and like and share on the video and watch the video. Um, Cause sometimes it could be very dissolute. It can probably dep not depress, but it can demotivate a guy that's trying to aspire, not aspire, but to actually have a decent content of Manchester United videos where he wants to voice his opinion and hear from you guys. So I'm not doing these videos just to be talking. I want to hear from you guys, your guys' opinions and so and so relating to Manchester United. So with that being said, here is the thing about um, Jane Sancho. So Jane Sancho and Everton Hag has a bust up because Everton Hag publicly here dogged out uh, Jane Sancho saying that he didn't train to the standards he want, he was expecting, and henceforth he was left out of the squad. To play against Arsenal, and he wasn't featured in the Arsenal squad, uh, in the squad to play against Arsenal. So it says here, my United boss everything I broke Sir Alex Ferguson's rule during Jane Sancho, um, rule. So what is that golden rule? So basically, according to Sheringham, that used to play for Manchester United, this a striker that used to play for Manchester United, Teddy, Teddy Sheringham. Ten Hag's strategy differs to that of iconic former Red Bull Felix Ferguson, who preferred to keep matters in house. So basically, Sheringham is coming from the perspective that this should have been kept behind closed doors. If someone asks you, for example, let's go on Sancho. If someone asks you about Sancho, why was he left out of the squad? Just say that, you know, certain measures were taken, and we believe that this is the best squad that should surface or face Arsenal. There are different approaches to make. Or someone could be more pragmatic and say, you know, I don't know, I'm in the moment. I, I, I can't, sp I can't um, you know, spitball like that on the surface. But in terms of keeping things in-house, yes, that's a good approach. But again, you have to question the intention of why everything I've said this publicly. Because there's a reason behind it and there's questions as to whether this is true or not. Which is why Jane Sancho came out with what he stated, defending himself, saying that there are certain things that are said in the opening public of social media that you cannot take just because it's, it's just said. So he's basically saying that's not true. So there's a lie in here. There's a lie in here. Whether it's everything or Sancho, there's a liar in here because... Sancho is saying that Ayrton is lying and the manager, for a manager to be saying that about a player, saying that he's not training to the to the expectations he would like of a player in his squad, is quite damning. It is quite damning. So Ayrton, uh, Ayrton, uh, Sheridan is basically saying that this should have been kept in-house because that's a Sir Alex Ferguson approach. I wouldn't say that's a golden rule because Sir Alex Ferguson publicly... Uh, called out Nani and Nani was crying. So what are you talking about? He didn't really kept everything under the robes like in house. Cause he he he, he called out Nani and Nani is a winger. Sancho is a winger. So Jose, Jose Mourinho did this with Martial, Rashford, Luke Shaw, and I think a few other players. Pogba, Pogba, 
My man was having a, a feud with Pogba. Pogba is a big boy with Mourinho. My phone's going on. But for some persons, there is a call out that needs to be urged. It's just like when you're small, man. There is different approaches that parents will take when you have certain child with children with certain personalities. Certain children are not going to take a public clashing or an admonishment, a public admonishment. So sometimes they need a run around the shoulder. But if you have someone that is stubborn, you know, pig headed, they, 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 they have a stone head, they don't want to change. Sometimes a public clashing out is necessary, but it's not necessarily to browbeat on the person's ego, but for the person to be better. So you're trying to empower them by giving them tough love. Or you're just trying to challenge them, which goes back to, to tough love. So yeah, I'm, I don't agree with sharing I'm here because again, this thing, man, hey, Sarx Ferguson didn't keep everything in the house. I don't even think he did that with David Beckham. There are certain times I would like to believe that he, you know, he said a statement that probably aired out with David Beckham because David Beckham and Sarx Ferguson wasn't on the same wavelength which led up to his transfer in 2003 to Real Madrid. That was Nani Novo's thing. Again, Nani in 2010 or 20, uh, 2011, they are both. And this was in Nani's peak period, by the way. And he got called out and he was crying. Nani, Nani was crying after... And Sir Ferdinand said this. Bredrin caught in tears after the statements of Sir Alex Ferguson. But I don't like I don't like to think that Ferguson said it. Sir Alex Ferguson, let me be respectful, said it to browbeat on a Bridgen's ego. He wanted him to do better. Sancho, well I'll say this. And this goes to a video I, I did almost three years ago. I did this in 2020. I did it in November of 2020. When I was talking about Mason Greenwood. And I said that Mason Green players like Mason Greenwood gets the most criticism and i said this in terms of talented players when you're a talented player you're not going to have the motivation to do a lot of training because you know say you're talented as is you know that you're good as is think of the most talented footballers for the last 20 years you think of ronaldinho ronaldinho wasn't a good trainer he didn't like training hell when he went to training in 2007 he was slightly overweight but if you see him on the pitch, he was he was doing good. Not good. Not 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 at his best, cause in 2007 he was on a decline. Let's be real about that. And he was like probably 27, 28. But he was on the decline. But even when he was playing at the same time at that time, he was still doing good in games. But it wasn't the prime peak Ronaldinho performance. But he was still good. And this was an slightly overweight Ronaldinho. In Hazard for Chelsea. Hazard wasn't a good trainer and he and that's based on his admission. He's publicly stated that. So that is not new. He said that he's not big on training. He doesn't like training. But if you go put this version on the left wing, he's gonna do a thing because he's a very good footballer. Ronaldo, the Brazilian Ronaldo, when he was gaining weight, you know, slowly, although he wasn't the peak Ronaldo of Inter Milan or Barcelona, when he's when he went to Real Madrid. He was in the peak uh, Ronaldo. And he didn't like training. He didn't like training. He didn't. Boy, if you go put this virgin up top to score goals, he's going to score goals. And he scored goals. He did score goals. And this wasn't a guy that was at his at his, at his his um, fittest, at his best fitness. He wasn't best in his fitness. And he still scored goals. He could still pass players. He was a decent dribbler. And this virgin didn't like training. So there are players that are not motivated to play their best. Not or train their best. Let me say this. Train their best if they know that they're talented. They're just not. It's just like an exam. If you know this subject for, like the back of your hand, you're not going to be motivated to actually put in the hours and study that hard. Because you know, you know, you, this, is, this is a course that you know inside out. You love the course. You know that you're good. So of course, you know, say so you go pass this final test. Unlike others that are not so hipped on it, like let's say uh, information technology. I'm not so good with technology stuff. I'm not a technical person. 
I would have to put the hours in terms of study, knowing what is what. I don't even know what is CPU. If I don't even know what is O O uh, O P O S. Those type of stuff. That is not my lane. So I would have to study. Unlike a, a, a geek that knows all of this stuff with his hat, with his his eyes closed. And so he's not going to be as motivated. He's not even going to probably put in that effort to study like what I would have to do if I want to pass his final exam. You get my, my click? So with Sancho, maybe Sancho is not doing his best in training. I don't think he's that type of person. But with that being said, this is a manager that is demanding, just like Mourinho, and we expect him to at least put a shift in in training. With Eric Tengog, it's not so much about your talent, but the effort that you do without the ball. Is this brethren going to press? Because this counter-pressing with Eric Tengog is a big thing, apparently. That is why he signed Mason Mount, because Mason Mount is a pressing type guy. That's what he did at Chelsea. Or, I didn't, well, I didn't really see much at Chelsea, but, you know, that is the player that he wants Mount, Mount to transform into. You see me? So without getting lengthy on this thing with, uh, hey, in terms of this feud, dude, hey, if you guys have a feud, man, go take that to Steve Harvey or something, because I don't even know what's going on at Manchester United right now. And if me, if Ertengang is a good manager, if he can if he can you know smooth things over as a good manager would and can, then he would have to eat his own pie. I don't want to be hearing about no fun or to no manager and player. Cause that's that's childish in my opinion. This is a player in your squad. You have to confront the situation at some point. Cause if you do not if you do not resolve this issue with your player, then the credibility as of you as a top tier manager is, is going to be in question. There's going to be questions raised. I'll be raising questions. Because right now, this is where managers earn their money. How good of a manager are you to smooth this over with a player? Yes, your player call you out because he's he, based on what you said, man, he believes you're lying. I'm not saying that he's lying. Like I said, there's a line in here, whether it's Sancho or the manager. There's no in betweens or out outside of that box. There has to be Sancho that's lying or a thing hawk. I'm not taking sides here. I do have the full story. And I'm I'm not going to be looking up the full story. Based on what I've been told and what is here, that is what I can go off on. It was twelve minutes. Man, I've t i have I need to move on. So hey, leave your comments down below in the comment section, man. Like I said, talented players are not going to put out much effort. They just won't. Neymar, Neymar gone to Saudi Arabia and he's not even he's not even what he's not even thirty two. Neymar's like what like thirty. Pogba, Pogba didn't do much. You know, uh, I mean he's not lazy. Well, some people may say he's lazy, but he wasn't a player. You could say that put out his effort in training one hundred and ten percent. Same with Martial. But these are talented players. On the flip side, you have players that are decently talented, but that is not their main claim to fame. You know, so with that being said, they have to like put in extra ten effort, extra ten percent in the effort that they do in training. Rashford, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, players that are not so techy, technically gifted, but they. They have a good work, quote unquote, work rate. And unfortunately, these are the players that are getting picked into this football society. Technical footballers are, you know, they're they're dying a slow death. They don't they don't get picked these days because apparently it's all about pressing. If you're not fit to press, they go hold bench. Enough story. Next uh <laughs> piece of news. So Martinez went off to hold on man. You guys watch me, man. Went off to Argentina and this brethren has a foot injury. Now my thing is this. I don't know how Argen I don't know if Argentina have juju to, to fix foot injury, but dude, if you have a foot injury, why are you going to international um why are you going with your 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 the Argentina squad if you have foot injury? That doesn't make no sense. Why don't you stay up you should have stayed at Manchester United? And let the 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 the, the 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 physios sort out your foot, man. Why are you going to Argentina? You ain't gonna get no game, man. You ain't gonna play no injured player. 
So Argentina manager Lionel Scaloni has delivered a fresh update on Lissandro Martinez's fitness. And what is that now? So basically he's saying here that... Uh, give me a second. What, what's up with these advertisements, man? Blocking my view. So Scaloni is keeping tops on the situation is being careful as usual not to overplay the United star. He also assures that Martinez has been checked by the medical staff and no concerns were flagged up. But again, dude, if he has a foot injury, he even said it. This is what he literally said in his press conference. Luch, Lucha, which is called, he's called Lucha, Lucio Martinez, suffered a foot problem. He had surgery a while ago and in the last game, he felt discomfort in that area. We have done studies and he's fine. Despite this, we don't want to rush him tomorrow. It's not even about rushing tomorrow. He shouldn't be even playing. He shouldn't even be in the squad. Even if he had his surgery today, he should not be contemplating on playing him tomorrow. This is a Manchester United. See, this is the reason why I do not like international breaks. And I'm not saying that international break is the reason why he has the injury because he had that against Arsenal, which is why he got taken off and substituted for some player that is detrimental to our squad. I think he's anti-Manchester United, but he's a United player. But he should not have been in the international squad for the first start. He should not be in the international squad. He's injured, and even if he had his injury, he's not going to be at he's not going to be match fit. So that doesn't justify you but for saying, oh, you know, we're not going to rush him for tomorrow. Of course you're not going to, you're not going to rush him tomorrow. He should be not he should not be playing at all. Like at all. Like none at all. Like none like you should not should have given me one minute at, on the pitch. Like not even one minute. So this is why I don't like international break, man. Because again, even though he didn't get the injury on international break, but this can actually make it uh, man i'm missing the words right now but basically he can make things worse for his foot if he has an injury let him go cool off he can't even be in training not even let alone to start or to come on for, you know a substitute so yeah man i'm disappointed about that lissandra martinez should have stayed in carrington not go to argentina let's see where you are man Hmm. Bayern Munich is making a move for Jane Sancho in January. It's not even October yet, bro. Relax yourself. But, um, so let us get to the big time right now. So, of course, Anthony has allegations. He has allegedly, let us use the word allegedly. We don't want to, we have to be careful when we're talking about touchy topics like this because this is personal stuff. So, Anthony of Manchester United has allegedly assaulted his ex-girlfriend and his ex-girlfriend has been vocal about it for the last week or so so anthony of manchester united manchester united says it is alleged is it is taking alle allegations of abuse by anthony seriously so today manchester united came out with a statement that they're investigating the situation um here's my thing man same energy same energy you, you drop miss amount. I would even say you dropped him before all of these allegations were stated. Because the moment this bridging catch fire that he, uh, he assaulted his girlfriend sexually, my man was put out of the squad immediately. He wasn't even in the squad. Didn't even sniff the, the football pitch. Not even one bit. Now you want to... I don't even think... Well, Brazil dropped him. He's not in the Brazilian squad. And that says something because if Brazilians, if the Brazilian squad dropped this brethren and you haven't, although we're not playing now because it's international break, that says something. But my thing is this. Keep the same energy for Mason Greenwood two years ago or, or almost two years ago. Drop this brethren from the squad, investigate the situation, and if the charges come to the surface that this brethren has, yes, assaulted, or no, have not assaulted his ex-girlfriend, then he can take it there, from from there. But as things stand right now, with things under, you know, under investigation, he should be suspended. Because this, this ex-girlfriend of his has sent out photos, sensory photos of Anthony allegedly, again, use certain words, because this, uh, this is a sensitive topic. Has allegedly 
assaulted his girlfriend. Some pers I've seen some on United fans say, "Hey, I believe Anthony." Some of these, <laughs> some of these Man United fans are saying this because they don't like Anthony and he's underperforming. So them saying, "Yeah, man, suspend this bridge, man. Hey, you can't be abu- you can't be abusing your girlfriend like that, man. Hey, Manchester United should suspend this bridge." I'm coming from the perspective that if you go lay hands on a female in a derogatory way, in a derogatory way, in a disparaging way, and you play for a football club, then the football club should suspend you. They should suspend you. Not saying that you're guilty, not saying that you're just innocent, but as things stand in terms of suspension, he should be suspended. Let things play out. Let the, uh, the, the the police find out more uh, information on the situation. Because right now, information is slim. So you can't say that Anthony is innocent or guilty. But my, what I'm saying is that as things are right now, currently, he should be suspended. That's my opinion. That's how I would take it if I was the, the manager. I would have a an um, a meeting with the, the 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 administration of the club and say this this you that plays for me this bridge and assigned for from Ajax last year, with how things are he should be suspended. I'm suspending him from my squad. He's not going to be playing. Cause see, if Manchester United doesn't match the energy that they had for Mace Greenwood a year and year a year and eight months ago or nine months ago, this this club is going to be known as a hip. Crossy, a hypocrite club, a hypocrite club, because you gave Mason Greenwood the sword. You gave Mason Greenwood the sword. You suspend this bridging as soon as that that information came to the surface. You suspend it. With with Anthony, you haven't suspended Anthony, which means that you're you you're indecisive about the situation. He should be dropped, and suspended. Yeah. And suspended. Sancho should play. Anthony should be playing right now. You see me? This is a serious situation. Hey, hey. I don't know what is. I saw I, I saw a meme on Facebook. <laughs> and it said that it, it was showing two it was showing two sides. It said Manchester United wingers wingers against defenders. And it showed this Barbie scene from Barbie, the movie that just came out some weeks ago. Barbie. And on the other side, they said Manchester United wingers against their women, and showed Mike Tykes with them hands like this. <laughs> they go to show say Manchester United the wingers are missing their priority. You should not be doing that against your girlfriend, man. Hey, with uh, right now it's bad timing because we're not playing at our best, not nearly. We lost against our rival Arsenal. Everything against uh, Jane Sancho, Glazers out. They don't want to. They don't even want to sell the club. Uh, 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 Anthony with this allegation against his ex girlfriend, allegedly assaulting his ex girlfriend. Uh, so too much drama, man. Too much drama. Now I'll say this: If you're a drama person, you're going to love this type of stuff. Particularly if you're a rival, so rival support. If you support Man City. Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspurs, and you see that your rival adversary, that is Manchester United, getting all of this drama. You're gonna say, man, hey, you know, say Manchester United should, should start a, a channel named Reality TV, Manchester United channel. All of this drama, man. This, hey, they'll make money off of this. Now. I heard Manchester United is broke. If they want to make money, you know, money to sign players, they need to, you know, be, be, dude. Right now is bad time. Every time I trying to find his feet in terms of his style of play on our Manchester United transition. We have now signed Amrabat and uh, yeah, we have our signings now. We have Hoyland that is back from injury and he looked great. He looked good against Arsenal when he came on. Um, so yeah, things are positive but not so positive because again, do with all of this stuff in the air, it's, quite, it's, it's noise pollution, it's air disaster, it's, no, it's air pollution. So all of this is this is not going to die overnight. This is going to be continued because it's an ongoing investigation. So as soon as there is more new information, it's going to be put out there in the social media by journalists and newspaper and all of this stuff. 
is me so with Anthony man like I said bro Anthony right now you know my man should be uh, uh, he, 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 he should he should be um suspended with the club like dude man hey I don't know what's up with the United wingers man oh Jaden Sancho doesn't do that um Rashford I do not nah, Rashford Rash, Rashford Hey, Rashford is a is a is a funny one because I remember when Mason Greenwood <laughs> had this situation and came to the surface and this bridging go, go um, uh, uh, Rashford this bridging go post up with his girlfriend talking about this is the way out to you know, this is not exactly what his IG post was, was saying but it was basically the undertones of saying yeah this is how you treat a girlfriend do you know what he did with that post <laughs> you need you know what he did with that that post. You were trying to tell a man, say, yo, this is how you treat a woman. Again, they're broke coming up right now. <laughs> Basically, with his, his back with his girlfriend. I was with his girlfriend. And he allegedly abused his girlfriend. Charges were dropped on Mason Greenwood saying. And he said with his girlfriend. His girlfriend go pluck out a kid for this bridge. You, being a good guy, the good sweet guy, you break up with, you and your girlfriend break up. <laughs> so really went one in the end. And that the video is about that. But what I'm saying is that for one, dude, I don't care if Brazil suspend this brethren Anthony. That's Brazil's that's Brazil, that's on Brazil. What I'm saying is that this Brazilian guy Anthony should be suspended from Manchester United, should not be playing no games with his ongoing situation. Because if he's not suspended, that's a hypocrit that's a hypocritical move. Cause on Mason Green was in, you suspend this brethren. You suspend this bridging. So if you do not suspend this bridging, Anthony, you're going to be in hellfire. You're going to be in a hot, you're going to be in a hot pot. You're going to get a lot of pressure and backlash and criticism from not only Manchester United fans, but from the females that support this club. And you guys don't want to lose your female fan base. You don't want to lose that. That hey. What did I say in my a video I did a couple weeks ago? I said that. When it comes down to any situation, football or whatever, a woman say is going to be very influential when it comes down to male versus female, this and that. If a male allegedly uh, 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 abuse a female, then in the eyes of most persons, they go say that the male is guilty. Although he's not being found guilty, then go say he's guilty. So with that said, if you want... I don't want to come off topic because I need to finish this video right now. But what, what I'm saying is this. This is a topic topic. This is a touchy topic, so I have to be careful with what the words I'm saying. What I'm saying is this, brethren. Have the same energy you had with May Screen with Anthony. Because if you do not suspend this brethren, number one, you're you're insinuating his you're basically enabling his behavior. That's number one. You're allowing a player that is under scrutiny, allegedly assaulting, abusing his ex-girlfriend, and you're not so you haven't suspended this bridging, but this bridging getting fo football minutes on a football pitch. That can't be happening. That can't be happening. That that should not happen. So he should be suspended. Don't care for what dude. I don't care if this is Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. Although Messi doesn't seem like the type to abuse a woman, but he can never say. It's me. If this was Messi, I would say the same thing. Drop this bridging and suspend him. If this was Christian Ronaldo in his peak, I would say drop this bridging and suspend him. Because this, I'm not, I'm not basing this on sentiments. This is a logical thing. If you do not suspend this guy, your, your credibility as a morally healthy club is going to be calling question person are going to question your moral your moral compass then go say whoa whoa whoa, whoa. so you had this uh, you had all of this smoke for Mason me with almost two years ago but you're not going to suspend anthony what's up with that why is it why is what's what what's up what what why 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 are you guys doing this and see this is why females are slowly there's a few that don't support Manchester United no more. Because uh, uh, apparently Mason Greenwood has not officially left Manchester United. He's still a Manchester United player. But he's a loney 
at Getafe. He's on loan at Getafe. Getafe got him on loan. So Mason, there is a possibility that Mason Greenwood can come back. But with this situation with Anthony, females, man, are not so big on supporting Manchester United no more. Because they're saying like, so, hey, some of these Manchester United players have a problem with females or something. They're abusing us, man. What's up? We ain't go up. We ain't, we're not going to support this. 30 minutes. I need to wrap up. So basically, he needs to be suspended. That's, that's, that's my say. Again, if this was recoming in his prime, Ronaldinho, uh, any top tier player on this prime, I don't care if if the suspension caused the club to go to go to go get relig in the relegation. This is for uh the reputation of the club. Suspend Anthony. If he's found not guilty, then bring him back. You know his girl, his ex girlfriend. Again, this is scenario. If he's not guilty, bring him back to the squad. If he's guilty, then it is what it is. You know, things go from there, so. But we should not be a football club that endorse, enable domestic abuse. I'm not I'm not done with that, man. I'm not done with that. I'm not done with that. And I like Mason Greenwood as a player. I don't like Anthony as a player. I'm not, I'm not much of a fan of Anthony. I like Mason Greenwood as a player. But even as my as a favorite uh, a fan of his. I'm not going to be walking this virgin's behavior. If he has done it, if he has done it, I'm not backing his behavior. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Comments below, man. I don't want to be rambling all this. Time. Comments below on the situation on, on the situation number one of Gene Sancho and um Anthony. Well, not much to be said about Anthony. Oh, yes, said about Anthony. Is the club supposed to be suspending this bridging? Although that's like hypo hypothetical question because they should have they should be suspending this bridging. They, you, you don't want to be a club that's enabling this behavior. Again, bro, your moral compass is going to be called in question. Your female supporters go question your morality and they're going to stop supporting you. And now, like I said, bro, if you're a business or anything, you don't want to be losing your female uh, 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 supporters. We have a football, you have a female football side. They're not going to be, they're not going to, they're going to have a say. They're going to have a say. If Anthony is not sup suspended, they're going to have a say. Comments below. I'm going to finish things right there. So, like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Support your brother. I'm out.